There is so much to be said about this subject. I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to say it all. Or I'm ever going to be able to even give enough examples, give enough information. Um, but I'm going to try. And there, have, there also have to be multiple parts of these videos, okay? Because this fucking topic is so complex. I think we're just going to talk about it. What we're going to talk about today is the importance of having a natural home birth. If you're going to have kids... And if you're not going to strive to have a natural home birth, then you shouldn't be a parent, and I don't give a fuck. I'm sorry. I know the thing is here is that a lot of women um, are incredibly fucking stupid about pregnancy. They're incredibly fucking uneducated. And the time that they start learning about it is once they're already married and pregnant. I'm like, moron. Why didn't you think about that more in depth way before that? Because I, I, I've known all these dumbass women personally who say all this dumbass shit once they're pregnant when, when they could have fucking figured that out way the fuck before if they read, like, one article about being pregnant. Like, I meet all these dumbasses who are like, oh my god, I didn't know I could still go to the gym when I was pregnant. Oh my god, I didn't know I couldn't drink coffee when I was pregnant. Oh my god, I didn't know that I was going to lose my balance when I was pregnant. Oh my god, I didn't know... I didn't know that this, I didn't know that that, I didn't know that I was going to get more hair in my body when I was pregnant. I didn't know that being pregnant increases your sex drive. I didn't know. Well, if you didn't know that, I'm kind of confused as to why you even got pregnant. You literally, so you literally knew nothing about being pregnant, but you got pregnant and now you're, you're going to figure everything out in, in nine fucking months. First of all, um, I don't think that a pregnancy should be considered viable until you are three months or farther along. Because even if you're zero risk, um, the likelihood, the possibility of you miscarrying is really high. Um, and the earlier on, you know, the lower level gestation of pregnancy is, the more vulnerable it is. And I just hate it so much when these women, by the way, uh, if you take a pregnancy test, it's best to take it with your first morning pee. And a pregnancy test is only possibly going to be accurate 10 days after conception. And for that matter... Um, what was I going to say about that? Okay, so don't fucking go, so you say you get a pregnancy test, a positive pregnancy, pregnancy test. Don't fucking go running on social media and broadcasting it to the world that you're pregnant until you're three months or more along. IMO. Because if you do that, and then you miscarry, then you also have to broadcast to the fucking world that you miscarried. Is, is that pleasant? Is that something you want to do? Probably not. Okay. Anyway. The reason you need to, you ought to, have a home birth is because it's the best option for baby and it's the best option for mom. What's the best option for mom ought to be the best option for baby. And you ought to, I don't know why the fuck anyone, I just, I'm so fired up about this. It's really hard for me to talk about because there's so much information and there's so much fucking dumb running around. It is such a problem. You cannot medicalize birth. It's not possible. I don't know why the fuck all these dumbass hops want a man who has never given birth and probably isn't even fucking going to be in the room while you're giving birth to tell them how to give birth. And another really fucking stupid reason to give birth in a hospital is they have you do it on your fucking back with your legs up. And this question is a serious question. It's going to seem like I'm kidding, but I'm serious. Okay? 
There's my toilet. I take shits in that toilet. Now, when you are going to go take a shit in a toilet, which is probably damn near 100% of the time, do you sit on the toilet like this? Mom sits on the toilet like this, because that's the better way to do it. But do you sit on the toilet? Most people sit on the toilet like this, which is fine. Do you sit on the toilet like this at your house when you're taking a shit, at work when you're taking a shit, in a public bathroom if you have to take a shit there? You probably sit on the toilet, right? Or do you go like this in order to take a shit? And just, you know, with your booty right there and pray to God that your turd gets thrown into the toilet bowl. I already know your answer. Giving birth on your back is as fucking stupid as taking a shit like this. Gravity is not on your side when you're on your fucking back like a goddamn slave having a man tell you what to do. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make any fucking sense. And there's also this thing called, I'm gonna call it, I'm fucking coining it right now, medical abuse. When people medically abuse you, when doctors medically abuse their patients, and they act like, they act like, oh, I, they act like, oh, I know what to do because I'm the doctor. Often they really don't. Often doctors really fucking get off on medically abusing their patients. I'm serious. I know, including me, I know so many women who have been sexually messed with or medically messed with by a doctor, and they therefore avoid hospitals and doctor visits as frequently as they possibly can. The last time I went to a doctor for a physical, um, my fucking doctor was wearing rape shoes heels like a fucking idiot. I don't know how he could possibly be a doctor and wear that shit to work. Unbelievable. And the woman who, the nurse who um, took my blood was wearing slave paint. And then, oh, she didn't take my blood, she just took my temperature. Then the fucking blood technician, whatever the fuck her name was, had a shit ton of fucking fugly ass, red ass dyed hair. So, like, the medical industry is an industry and it's not in your best interest. It's not looking out for your best interest. They just want your money. Okay? So, um, giving birth in a hospital, hospital bill costs about $15,000 plus a two or three day stay afterwards. Giving birth with a midwife at home costs about $2,000. It is key to give birth at home. It is best to give birth at home because you have everything in your living space that's already going to be there. All the germs, all the bacteria, all the dog hair, all the particles that you are going to live in are there currently in your house. That you live in, right? Um, giving birth in a hospital is really bad because it's a sterile environment. Um, get, being born by cesarean is actually really bad for you. I'm serious. It's really fucking bad for mom. And it's really fucking bad for baby. It's just a bad decision all around. And most cesareans that happen are absolutely fucking not necessary. Y'all give me a guess here. What day of the week are cesareans most common? Have a guess right now. It's Friday because the doctor wants to go home. He wants to go home for his weekend. Eat his fucking potato chips on his fucking $5,000 couch. Let's give her a C-section. Um, being born by a cesarean can actually also alter your immune system for life. Because you're supposed to be born vaginally. Hello. But if you're born by cesarean, you're in mom, you're taken out of mom, and instead of being in a good environment, you're born into a completely sterile environment. And baby, little baby's body, adjust to the surroundings immediately. So a little baby is born and says, the world is sterile. Cool. Okay, I got you, world. The world isn't sterile. But it, birth is so important. It, you, your first moments of life are still life. 
And you can actually remember your birth if you do guided meditation. But I'm saying that can... So your body, you're born, right? If you're born by a cesarean, I'm sorry. But um, that can alter your immune system for life because your body adjusts immediately to a sterile... Can adjust immediately to a sterile environment. And then it's like, surprise, the world isn't actually sterile. Um, many years ago, back when I was a hop, I was on Tinder or some stupid-ass dating website. And I would match with these guys, and we would say hi, and then immediately I would say, are you okay with, do you like cats and dogs? Because I have a cat and I have a dog. And if you don't like cats and dogs, I'm sorry, we can't hang out. Um, but so I would say, hi, do you like cats and dogs? This one guy I matched with, who was pretty cute, um... I said, hi, do you like cats and dogs? He said, um, yeah, they're okay, but I'm actually really allergic to both. I said, oh, does that run in your family? He was like, no, no one else in my family is allergic to cats or dogs. And I was like, were you born by cesarean? And he said, yes! Because his poor little baby body was ripped out of mom when she should have pushed her him out naturally. I'm sure she could have pushed him out naturally. Um, and his immune system was altered for life, and he was deathly allergic to cats and dogs due to having been born in a hospital. And that happens all the time. It happens very frequently. C-sections are incredibly common. Um, this moron I worked with was talking, I, I was eavesdropping on him talking to someone else, and he was talking about how, um, his wife gave birth in a birthing center, which are pretty much a lot like hospitals, and it's better to just give birth at home, but... If your options are a birthing center or a hospital, go to a birthing center, but they're both moronic. Anyway, he was like, he was talking to this other coworker, and he was like, yeah, oh, my wife, we just, we, we had the, we had the baby at the birthing center, and we just did everything we possibly could to get that baby out, but she was in labor forever, and so she just had to end up getting a C-section. And the woman he was talking to was like, oh, how long was she in labor for? And he said, 26 hours. And I went, <laughs> bruv, that ain't shit. I know a woman who was in labor for four fucking days. And she gave birth at home because she knew that was best for her and best for baby. 26 hours ain't shit. Are you kidding me? Maybe this other moron who I'm no longer friends with due to the fact that I'm a turf. Thanks be to God. She was like, oh, when I give birth, I just want to be on all the drugs. I want to be on every single drug there is. I'm just, I just want them to pump me with drugs. So what she meant by that was I want my baby's very first experience in life to be on drugs. I want her to be born high as shit on drugs because when you're being born, you're still absorbing. You're still connected to mom. So you're still getting those drugs. So you dumbass want your fucking kid to be born on drugs. You're so fucking stupid. I'm sorry. I hope you don't have kids. I really don't. And that's the other thing about giving birth at home. Or just giving birth in general. If you don't want to do it vaginally. If you want a scheduled C-section like an absolute fucking dumbass. If you don't want to breastfeed. Um, if you want to be on drugs. I don't think you're cut out to be a mom. Sorry. It's okay. It's totally fine, though. It's not for everyone. It's, it's totally fine. Don't do it if you're not supposed to do it. If you can't imagine yourself giving birth, then, like, don't do it. All good. And if you want kids, adopt them. <laughs> if you really don't want to give birth that badly, ain't no thing. It's not for you. It's totally cool. Just fucking admit it. Y'all know what racial ethnic group in the United States of America has the highest maternal death rate. I'm going to have you guess. Take a guess. It's black women. Shocker, right? Except not at all because doctors are racists and hospitals don't give a fuck about black women. Why the fuck would they? Like... <laughs> It's, it fucking hurts my soul, though, because that's, that's horrible, and it's 100% avoidable, and these doctors don't know what the fuck they're doing, and all these, like, 
Like, I know, I know every, if you knock on, go to an, any apartment complex, knock on everyone's door, everyone has a horror story about birth because the doctor messed it up. The doctor fucked it up. The doctor wasn't there. The doctor gave her the wrong drugs. The doctor induced labor. You can't induce labor, by the way. That's not a thing. Sorry. Sorry, asshats. You know what inducing labor is like? This is toothpaste. Inducing labor is like going like this, trying to get toothpaste out. It's not going to happen. You're going to make mom sick. You're going to make baby sick. You're going to fuck up them both. You're a dipshit. Don't give birth in a hospital. Okay. Anyway, going back to black women, what's so unfortunate about that is that back in the day, all the way back in the day, okay, you know, y'all know who were the best midwives in the world, not just in the fucking country, in the world, okay? It was black slave midwives. African slave midwives were the best midwives in the fucking world because they didn't have shit to work with. You know, if y'all are lucky, you get the herbs that you can get from the fucking farm or whatever. Maybe get some drugs. But, like, they didn't have anything. They were working with, you know, the wood house. Maybe some water. Maybe some food. Maybe a fucking fireplace. Bed. That's it. No drugs. Little to no medical tools. Giving birth. Without medical assistance. With a midwife assistant, probably. But without a fucking hospital, without a fucking forceps, without a fucking knife to cut you open, okay? None of that shit. That's why they were the best in the whole fucking world. But you know what happened? The white men came up and were like, mm-hmm, we don't like this. So births at home are illegal in the state of Georgia. I'm serious. You can't get birth at home in the state of Georgia. It's illegal. So it's basically, so if that's illegal, then oppressing women by forcing them to give birth in hospitals. So it's basically like oppression by law. Oppression by, hashtag oppression by law. Ah, It makes me so mad. Okay, so again, if you can't imagine yourself giving birth, don't do it. Um, Listen, you can have an orgasm while giving birth. I'm serious. But do you want to do that in front of some random fucking doctor you don't even know? No. Um, that woman that, that I mentioned to you that that guy was talking about his wife, who was in labor for 26 whole hours, um, uh, she couldn't relax. I'm not going to be able to relax <laughs> in some random place I've never been. I'm, I'm going to be able to relax in my own home. That's why you ought to want to give birth in your own home. Giving birth is mental. It's a mental process. If you don't believe you can do it, you're not going to be able to do it. I'm sorry. Chances are. 